good evening welcome to the first video of 2021 from my channel uh, today we are going to discuss about the uh, prominent books that i read in 2020 at the beginning of 2020 i set a target of 25 books uh, for myself and uh, once the lockdown set in i increased it to 100 books because i thought i can read lot more number of books in a lockdown but soon i realized that only when life is hectic we can pursue our hobbies or i did not do too badly and i managed to read 55 books and around 12000 pages during the year so this uh, uh, blog is about uh, blog or vlog whatever you call it is about the books i read in 2020 The first book I want to discuss about is Republic of Rhetoric by Abhinav Chandra Chud. This book is a must read for all those who believe in the Indian Constitution. Uh, this book also uh, showcases as a result of whose attitude the Britishers had to uh, bring about a law against age speech in the Indian Penal Code. if you look at the britishers they don't have a, a hate speech law in their country uh, the next book i'm going to discuss about is coming out as dalit by uh, yashika dat uh, myself coming from a dalit community uh, this book uh, resonates with me a lot i written a detailed blog on this uh, what how it connects with me and i posted the link of the same in the links to this uh, video uh, so kindly read the blog next book uh, mahabharata mahabharata is just not a religious epic it is a management lesson it is a lesson in life and it is a lesson about strategies uh, the biggest uh, villain you can find possibly in uh, history is shakuni this book called uh, shakuni and uh, dies of doom by mallar chatterjee uh, clearly chronicles his uh, villainy to the maximum and also you also in any as it happens in any book you also doll up a soft corner for him the next book is uh, chaturanga by anand nilakanthan anand nilakanthan is a master storyteller this uh, book once you pick up you don't feel like uh, dropping it Uh, and this book has got lot of connect with the contemporary situation and you cannot miss it the next book is ant among elephants by sujatha gidla this book is a must read for all dalits who can read and write english this book exposes the underbelly of casteism and also uh, uh the is a good telling tale on the author's personal life uh, the next book is uh, promised land by barack obama it is uh, an autobiography and uh, recollection of his days as president of uh, united states of america uh, one of the good things i did during 2020 was to try out audibles and this book i heard on audibles uh, it's very nice in his booming voice over this is a book which is written by a politician describing himself so please take it with a pinch of salt the next book i wanted to discuss about is the hands of destiny by shri vidya srinivasan shri vidya srinivasan writes some revolutionary poetry especially about women and uh, our political opinions are too well known however this is a poignant tale about how Uh, the death of two teenagers in a or not teenage youngsters in a, a terror accident affects their families this book makes you cry makes you laugh rage with anger dismay with indifference and what not however this book is a must read as it acts as a bridge between two different cultures and two different women from two different cultures The next book that we are going to talk about is The Man from Mandu by Manoj V. Jain. This is an amazingly well-written book. 
this book chronicles how proper marketing can elevate an ordinary person to divine status this book touches many raw nerves without inflaming them and this is where most of the creative people can take cues from the next book is tarur sorceress by shashi tarur this is a peek into his immense vocabulary it is a fun read and i personally don't intend to use any of these uh, words which he has listed in this book i mean he understands the context for using the word in each and every sentence and not me uh, the final book that we are going to discuss about is uh, my grandmother sends her regards and apologies by frederick backman the same person had written uh, the book uh, a man called ovi if you like that book this book you will adore it this book is uh, a tale about a uh, seven year old lisa and her crazy grandmother this tale uh, takes us through uh, land of uh, almost awake the kingdom of miamis and also finally it ends with the letters of apologies and appreciation that uh, elisa has to deliver on behalf of her dead grandmother that two books which slightly disappointed me during 2020 is a not written in 2020 but i read it during 2020 this was uh, one was uh, the skeptical patriot by siddun wadukut this is an amazingly well written book but um, some of i know maybe i this is what i uh, felt uh, taking into account the contemporary situation the author stops uh, short of pulling a few punches the next book is uh, fahrenheit 451 by ray bradbury i am a great fan of uh, dystopian novels but uh, this classic on dystopia just got over my head and i could not make a thing out of it um well this is the story of uh, the books i read in 2020 happy 2021 for reading books and uh, acquiring more knowledge thank you